Hello, Victor here, historymercedes.com. This is another part, I don't remember which one it is, maybe part number eight, probably. So anyway, the this is another replacement top that I got. So I glued in the rear section here, just the top portion here. This isn't glued yet. This is still loose. And um, the top bar is glued in, and only three spar itself, this little retainer bar with the old top the old top i'm keeping as a reference and again just so i can cover the car up now this roof right here sides came out okay obviously there's just one set screw here and this has to be all glued in and then it has to be all uh, stretched finally and you know to be to be dealt with uh, the um, you know, it's much, much better. I mean, it reaches at least. I mean, if I put the molding over here, then it's going to close up a tiny little triangle here. But again, I'm basing my, I'm, 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 you know, all of my installations based on the original. But um, I should have taken the marks on this roof as a reference versus original because I measured my distances. This is exactly how original was, but it turns out that this has to be stretched just a little bit more. And uh, it's not horrible, but I know I can do better. The problem is, is that this fold right here, so this roof is slightly, slightly longer actually now. <laughs> so as you can see, there is a little bit of material still left. So there is no way for me to get rid of this fold, but to tighten the whole section upwards more yes i know that this isn't tight yet uh, you know this is just a couple of screws here i can tighten it from here a little bit i can tighten it from there but um you know like i can tighten this as you can see it stretches right but um no i want to tighten the whole thing i want to tighten this up i'm gonna actually have to go maybe half an inch more in which is going to be that's going to be a little shorter than the original one was but it appears that this material is slightly longer so i would just go half an inch shorter there were some marks that i followed but not all of them this right here there's a set screw that goes in here that's very important that creates the tension on the on the window here but the thing is you see it folds up so at this point i have to shorten this up a lot half an inch is a lot maybe like three quarters even so the distance here is going to shrink up to probably about here somewhere right it is what it is i mean you know it's not factory it's not 100 percent original so but uh, i can re-glue that you know real quick because that glue uh, is still fresh so i can reactivate it and this time I'm going to lift this up more. Now, this is still flapping around because the bottom portion of the material isn't glued in. So that I'm going to do um, at the end. So I have this line, you know, this to be closing, out, closing in. I don't want it to rub, but I just want it to be sort of like that. And that's possible because if I can just pull on the material inside I'll show you real quick if i may uh, that's not this material oh no i can't i can't i'm sorry that's underneath we're talking about this material i can only reach this material right here because uh, the rebar has to go over so i have to stretch this tighten this up to bring it in right as you can see it goes back in right so yeah, so I have to like kind of level it. But before I level it, I have to stretch the whole canvas first. So this is where we are. Yes, it's sort of a, I mean, you know, like some people would just look at it and be like, oh, okay, that's fine. It all looks fine. I mean, you know, straight, nice. I mean, yeah, okay, but I, I know it could, it can be better. So if, if it can, can be better, then obviously I want to try to make it better. All right, so this is the other edition, and I'll continue with the rebar tightening. This time I'm going to put, I mean, I, I had the chucks, like, you know, to lift that front portion up. Here, I didn't have the locks. I only had 
Let me show you real quick. Just. Let's open that roof up. All right. Because the, ugh, violent. I know. It is what it is. I lifted it just a couple of inches too high. Well, anyway, so I didn't have the locks, so I just had some, uh, I just had some um, wood chucks sitting under, but this time I'm going to, I didn't want to overstretch it, that's my point, that's what I wanted to do, I, I, I wanted to create a little less tension, so I did it like at about this height, so this material was uh, glued up forward here, up on top, uh, with uh, the roof lifted this much about, right, so now I'm going to do it like that. As you can see, there is more material that folds, so it's going to tighten up like crazy, but it seems like that's what it needed to be. That's how it needed to be done. So this particular top, oh, come on, man. Oh, I tried to keep it clean with all these windows, and now this thing fell off. It just doesn't stick, unfortunately. The tape does not stick to the canvas fresh canvas I guess it was treated with uh, moisture water repellents so therefore it does not stick and the tree is still pollinating or whatever is happening over here it comes right off if I wash it I mean I just did the corner over here it's like it's, it comes off but it's very annoying that it just keeps pollinating it's just like on my fingers and I keep washing my hands because you have to work on clean with your clean hands with this stuff. You don't want to grease it up. So this one came out nice right at the edge. So the molding is going to be right over here. It's going to be nice. That was my problem with the previous roof. I had no problems with the tension with the previous roof. But this one I have an issue with the tension. But the sides are good. All right. So again... I'll get it done whatever whichever way you know whatever I have to do I have to I have to do I have to do it cables are also tightened up I have to loosen them up a little bit the tension cables here and that is another thing that um, I uh, over tightened slightly but not a big deal all right so off I go and glue this thing the third time and then we have to line up all of these folds and whatever but that's that's next because i had to trim the areas here because it would have not make it but um yeah all right so this is another addition victor here is thank you for watching